today I'm going to be showing you how to achieve this Marie Antoinette hairstyle without needing to buy an overpriced and cheap looking wig. All the tools needed was everything I already had in my drawer and I'm going to be listing everything needed in the box below. You're going to start by brushing your hair through to get out any knots and then grab a section of hair from the top of your head and do a regular braid all the way down. and then you're going to secure it with a clear elastic. Then you're going to wrap it up in a bun. This is going to be the anchor for the sock bun donut to be placed. We are going to be placing the sock bun on the top of your head to have a place to pin the strands of hair up and also to create height and volume. Marie Antoinette had very large and over the top volume in all her hairstyles, so we are going to try to achieve that today. You are going to use bobby pins to pin the sock bun in place. Next, section your hair into two sections, top from bottom. Then grab one side of your hair and spray it with heat protectant spray. I love Kendra heat protectant spray because it protects your hair from getting damaged when you curl it with the heat. So then just let that dry for a second and then you're going to brush it through. Then take your half inch curling iron and grab one inch sections of your hair and wrap it around the barrel of the curling iron. Make sure you're laying your hair flat on the curling iron and not twisting it when you wrap it around the barrel because twisting it will create a wavy curl and we are trying to get the tight ringlet curl. I let it drop into my hand and have it cool for a few seconds before letting it down. I feel like it helps the curl form better and last longer. Also, um, just a side note, most curling irons come with gloves and I highly re recommend using a glove if you aren't used to using um, hot tools and curling irons. Okay, so we are going to go ahead and do the exact same thing to the other side. And once you're done curling both sides, you're going to get your hairspray and spray all the curls. We are now going to let the curls set and cool for a little bit before we go back to them. In the meantime, I'm going to grab two pieces of my two clip hair extensions and use them to wrap around the sock bun. This is going to create more volume for the hairstyle and also it's going to help hide the sock bun. And they were really easy to clip in. They just attach to the sock bun and just snap right in easily. And so I just wrapped them around the sock bun and secured them with bobby pins. So now going back to the curls, get your teasing comb and gently fluff up and tease the curls a little bit. Then just pull up the curl and pin it to the bun. And you're gonna do the exact, the exact same thing for every curl. And I like to leave a few inches from the end of the strand because I like the look of the curls on the top of your head sticking up. And you can go back and recurl them to make it um, a more tighter look. Okay, so I already went ahead and did the other side, and now we're going to do the same thing we did for the first section. So curl about a one inch section of hair, laying it flat on the barrel. And make sure the barrel is open and you're not clamping it. You could do it the other way too, but I just noticed the curls look tighter and it's easier to control the curl when you do it this way. So keep curling the rest of your hair and pinning them up to the top. Thank you. 
So at the very end, I left two strands of curls down on either side. I just think it makes the hairstyle look more authentic with the two curls because that was the hairstyle back in Marie Antoinette's day. And I'm just recurling these two pieces to make them a little bit tighter. And I just spray them with a little bit of hairspray to help them not fall out and help them last longer. And you can go back and touch up some of the curls that um, were on the top. We left a few inches on the top, so creating um, more curls on the top will also add more height. Then just do a quick mist of hairspray all over to set the whole hairstyle in place. And this is optional, but I went to Michael's and I got a couple fake butterflies and a fake flower to put in my hair. Um, I just feel like it makes the hairstyle look more dramatic. And as you can see in these pictures of Marie Antoinette, she always accessorized her hair by adding flowers and um, butterflies and even she put bird cages in her hair and I feel like for Halloween it looks really cool. So I hope you guys enjoyed this Marie Antoinette hair tutorial and be sure to subscribe below and like the video if you want to see more tutorials. Thanks for watching! Bye!